Because even like the fish that you see that look really big, a lot of times are like two to three pounds. The, the, the water magnifies them. What are you drinking? Don't be drinking that freaking rainwater. Quit. A big spotted bass. I think they're just grabbing the legs. Dude, that one had it. He had the frog underwater, so I don't know. I mean, even if they're probably tiny, I don't know. Who knows? There will be one big one that will come along and definitely be no questions asked when it sees this and just destroy it. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. They're pretty much reacting right now. It's just probably need well something small and then it's just gonna kinda sit in their face. Honestly like a wacky rig or a floating worm. I mean it's that's the way it was last week and it seems like that's still the way it is. They're not fully ready to commit to the frog yet here anyway. But they'll come check it out. That one, see, but the big ones, it'll, like the one that I had on my, literally had the hooks in, that one, like all the other ones that have bit have been so small that they just weren't gonna swallow it. to that shade line and then I'm gonna start throwing the old worm again. That worm is a pretty fun way to catch him though. Hopefully I can. I should have connected on some of these. This is ridiculous. A little bitty whopper plopper would have caught all of this because they would have snatched at it and got a trouble hook. I just didn't bring it like an idiot.
probably what I should have been throwing the whole time. I just don't want to do it again. Oh, you got that sucker. She's like, finally something for me to lit. Maybe. Nah, he's not that big. It's spawned out though too, you see his belly's gone. See all the pollen on the water? Felt pretty good. Got one. Let's go. Oh, that's a good one. Heck yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh. oh Dang it. <laughs> That baby bass one day, you're onto something. Damn it. I'm about to tell you to get him too. You what? I'm about to tell you to get him too. I know, he was coming close. Son of a gun. We're on to him, dude. Let's go. He's not... That one's like half as big as the one that you just had. Yeah. This is definitely over three. It's, it's, it's probably like a, it's probably like an 18 inch fish. It was a, it was a good one. That one was, that one wasn't very big. That was like 16, 15 or 16. Probably 15. So far my scale's just gone up to like two pounds. Ever since I bought it. <laughs> On the two pound. Um, there's nothing wrong with some two pounders. Ooh, look at red, red in the eyes. You see that? Yeah. I see people on Facebook like, "Well, we're not supposed to weigh anything, so it's like past five pounds." The hell? And then I'm not gonna use my damn scale. What do you mean? <laughs> Might as well use it for every fish, I don't care. God, it's always the little ones. I get them through the beak so good that there's no way they're going to come off. He's gotten, look at his, look at that scar. He got frigged up by something. He's kind of fat. Oakley. You know what, she's... She's acting good right now, so we're just going to leave her alone. Well, we found them at least. I suppose we just keep drifting this bank for a little while and then we can go up and fish by the other tree line. Got one. Mm. 
the black tip. Sorry. Black lips. Nice. Dude, this clean water's got these fish looking good. I guess you can't necessarily call it clean. You can call it clear. <laughs> it's definitely not clean. She's not about it. Ooh. It's pissing. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, dang it. Yo, so remember how you said maybe I should try it on the stiffer rod? Now I think you should try it on the stiffer rod. <laughs> you, that it literally just doesn't have the backbone to put the to put to put the hook in their face. <sighs> I just lost one too. God, we could have just been doubled up right there. You probably thought I had King Kong with that one. <laughs> Yours was actually good though. See what I'm saying? That's fine. Dude, you need to you need to get you one of them big ones. Oh, 100%. It is really frustrating to lose all of these decent fish, though. <laughs> Did I go up? Uh, what is your hook like on that? I don't know. Let me see. Let me see it. Well, so think about it. When when it bites that, that's all the hook that's, that's left to pin it. Because that swim bait's so fat, that's all that's sticking in it. If you had a really wide gap one, to when it goes down in and there's still a lot of hook left to like get into them like it's trying to hook it with just that much and they always shake that off you need a you need a bigger one you just need a bigger swim bait hook they're figuring that out your lead is all <laughs> that's awesome though you just if you have any uh bigger hooks like that use them i think i have some in my terminal bag like this yeah literally just like that and honestly if I do, I'll trade you a hook for a swim bait. Yeah. Little bath. I got a picture. Yeah. Yeah. What are you fishing with today? I got a floating worm on. What, what? A floating worm. Uh, okay. And he's got a little swim bait. Catches all the dinks. <laughs> I caught that. I caught one good one last time. I'm going back to the bottom. in hopes that something's going to thump it. <sighs> They're just not eating it well today, man. I jacked that one. You saw it. <laughs> <laughs> 